In this section here, I'm going to get Gail's backside. So Gail's going to come into frame here. She's going to sit on the hips. <clears throat> like I said, these are one of many scenarios. Every, every drill is a piece of puzzle. We're trying to fit different pieces for different situations. I've got the hooks in. I'm trying for a choke. It's not quite working. We, you know, she's able to move her head around a lot, so it's really not doing a whole lot. But I can dig in. She gives me an opportunity to create a little bit of gap here, and I can grab her sleeve or I can grab her wrist from here. So the hand that was kind of squeezing my opposite hand here, instead of being in front of her, because that's not that I wasn't working, I'm going to slide it over and I'm going to push her head away. Then if I put my right hand around her head and push it away, I'm going to do the same thing with my right hook. So this is where I'm going to turn her to the side. I'm going to release that hook and I'm going to put it up in her neck. And then that allows me to get my knees together, squeeze it nice and tight. And then I can cross my arms, lift up the hip for the tap, make sure the thumb's facing up toward the ceiling. I can also, if that's not working right away and I've, I've ran out of range of motion, I will simply swim up, sit down, put it under my armpit, lift the hips up as, as I pull back down. Another option is I can sit up and I can also grab, I'm trying to get it slow here, grab my own ankle and I'm causing a choke and an arm bar or a better control from here. And I'll show you from the other side as well. A little hard to see from that side. So we've got the hooks in. We went for her left side. This time I'm going to go for her right side so she's going to face that way. I've tried the chokes here. It's not quite working. She's moving around a lot. But she allowed me an opportunity to go under her hand and either grab her uh, sleeve material or grab her wrist with the thumb down. The other hand that was choking goes around the head to push the head back. I release the left side hook here. I bring the leg over and I slide back with my knees together, cross my arms, lift up the hip, pull back with the thumb facing up. I can also sit up. I'm actually tucking her arm straight arm under my armpit. I keep everything nice and snug and tight, and I lift the hip up as I go there. Since I'm up anyway, I can take my left hand here, in this case, grab my own leg here, cause either a very uncomfortable head crank, and, and about half the time you can get a choke in there, or just keep them busy with the face while they're not focusing on the arm, and then I can release it or keep going back to the arm bar. <coughs> Gail's gonna do the same thing to me. I spin around, she's got the hooks in. I'm covering, she's going for the choke, but there's nothing there. So she sees an opening under my armpit, she's going under the armpit, and she just cups over and grabs my, either my sleeve or my arm, and then you want kind of the thumb over, just so it doesn't get caught in the process. This was going for the choke on this side, but I'm not allowing her to do it, so it's gonna come over the head to push away, and then this leg's gonna come around and push away as well. So she let go of this leg, and as she does that, she's gonna get in a secure position, Try to get the arm bar, holding up, keeping the knees close together. Her foot by the neck is flat. And there's the tap up there. She sits up, she stays there, she goes under the armpit. As she goes back, keeping everything tight, she lifts the hip up, knees are close together. There's the tap. And then if she can, she takes the left hand, goes under my neck and grabs her own ankle. And there's a choke there. Or she can grab it again. If there's not a choke, she can go back to the arm bar. We'll do a combination of both. <clears throat> she went on this side. Now we're going to go for this arm. So she's got the hooks in. The chokes are being protected. Difficult for her to get them. So her left hand is going to go under the armpit. And it's going to cup over. And she's got my sleeve here with the thumb in that position here. So I'm, I'm trying to hold it here. This one combs my hair back. And the leg also goes around my head. And she's pushing to the side to give her a better position. This leg goes on the floor nice and tight so my head's close to her hip. This is down with the knees close together so I don't get my other hand over there. And she continues to lift her hips up as she pulls the arms back or she goes under the armpit and lifts the hip up as she goes back. Or she can take her right arm and grab her own uh, ankle there and there's a choke there. Or she can go back to the arm bar and control both. Good, so it, it works pretty good there. So practice combination or variation of those.